Hi guys, hope this finds you well. My name is John Bosco of Joint Hands Green Life Trees. And today we are taking part in a cleanup exercise and also a tree planting exercise that is taking place at Uriri Technical and Vocational Training College. And this exercise has been organized and is being implemented by a number of stakeholders uh, who are uh, within the community and also enhanced with the students from this uh, particular learning institution. This cleanup exercise had entailed just a lot. We had, uh, we, uh, just, we just had a walk across the road all the way from the college to Oyani Trading Center, which is just adjacent uh, to the main highway uh, from Kisi to Migori. And with me here is Pamela. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Pamela of Joint Life Trees, and today we are here. Uh, in uh, Uriri Sub County program to clean up and uh, do a lot of uh, planting of trees with the uh, Uriri Technical and Training Institute. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, yeah. thank you. <laughs> okay. Them, have to be undertaken is because of the kind of pollution that takes place and how inorganic material is disposed of carelessly and how this always affects our livelihoods and sometimes even the livestock that grazes freely around is also highly affected when they get end up consuming contaminated uh, pasture so is one reason why we are not only uh, doing a cleanup exercise, but also sensitizing the community. Mm. 
uh, Uriri Social Justice Center. So to Lichuzi market because to realize that uh, this community is fast growing. And the more uh, a, a, an area grows, the more people stay in one area. You find that uh, dumping in a poor problem. So you don't have a, 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 a where you, you dispose your, your, your trash. So as the business community, uh, it is our responsibility to work together with the, with the government to make sure that such a thing is there. So to Motembelea, siku kwa ubaya, but so that we can sensitize each other to do that uh, going forward, what can we do? How can we sit together and be able to, to task the government where we can be able to dispose uh, trash? Tumona muna weka pale hivo, and I believe uwa muna choma because uh, over time, kitu kama wikika hapo, mara mingi watu wa wana choma. So, tuko hapa so that we can talk about it and also uh, to tell you that kuna outbreak ya cholera. Yeah, so kama kuna, uh, akuna proper waste disposal uh, uh, kwa community, you find that magonjo ya nakuwa mingi. So, we just like to work with you. And uh, kama mnaweza to join, ampia ni sawa tu tutashukuru. <laughs> Karibuni. here today in Oyani community, uh, Oyani, Oyani market, uh, uh, to mark the World Cleanup Day. So the reason why we chose Oyani market is because uh, this community is fast growing because of the, the, uh, the new technical college. Uh, but you find that uh, uh, usually as a, as a community is growing, the issue of dumping uh, becomes a problem. So we don't have a, a proper waste disposal uh, site and even a container, a, a, a container where the, the business community and the villagers can be able to dispose of uh, the waste. So we are kind, kindly requesting uh, the government uh, of Migori to, uh, through the Ministry of Environment to kindly assist us uh, or assist this community with a proper waste uh, disposal mechanism or container. Thank you. Mazingira bora? Jukumulet. Mazingira bora? Jukumulet. Afia bora? Afiet. Bas. Mazingira bora? Jukumulet. Afia mzuri? Afiet. Bas. Maji safi? Afiet. Fresha. Fresha. Fresha.
ready to live first and all You can water the leaves.
just uh, concluded the function that was taking place here at Oyani. Uh, we had uh, all the stakeholders whom will be getting their speeches. The stakeholders have played into it in different ways to see that it is a success. This is meant to address climate change uh, and so we are fighting plastic pollution by sensitizing the community and by also uh, telling the community the, the need to do proper waste management, especially in organic uh, waste. The first mm -hmm. is uh, uh, also a partner from Green Villages. Uh, they are very much of help to us. We always partner together in all that we do. They also produce seedlings, so Tom just said that something as we wind up the video. Yes, thank you very much, Pamela, for giving me this opportunity. I'm very much thankful and welcomed here to be partner with Pamela. Yes, so I'm Tom from Green Villages. I just want to thank everyone for this time and this partnership that have been between the two of us. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm very, very much thankful, Pamela, welcome. and may God bless you a lot. Welcome, you're yeah. welcome. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> this is that. our channel. Yes. It's called the Joint Hands Green Life, please. Yes. Uh, you've been of help too, and I know you've subscribed and you've given us uh, subscribers. Yes. Continue watching our videos as you mm. share them too. Thank you. Yes, so uh, anyway, so it has been good updating you guys on uh, this is World uh, Cleanup Day. Uh, we took part in cleanup of uh, a center, it's called um, a market center Oyani. called Oyani in yeah. really sub county of, uh, of Migoro County. And uh, you've just seen whatever has, uh, has taken place for the better part of this day. And we are just so much grateful. It's, uh, we know that our environment is our responsibility, and that's why we are here. That's why we always take time to sensitize people, to sensitize the community in taking good care of the environment by seeing how they dispose of their wastes and uh, planting trees just for the fresh air and for more of the benefits of the trees that we know. My name is Elijah Bambo. I represent the Social Justice Center and Nema Children Green Network. And uh, our aim is to green Migori County. And uh, we have been uh, accompanied by other partners for this event. And uh, we encourage more partners to come on board so that we can form a consortium to fight for the green spaces in Migori County. This is just an example of the programs that we intend to carry on moving forward. And uh, we have some suggestions that uh, we hope uh, the relevant bodies will be in place to, to help us, where one suggestion was to have a collecting bin, that is the county, can come in to help the young community. There's also a water point at Uriri that is accessed by school kids and uh, the community. This water is very pathetic and we wish a body to come in to help this community get clean water. Okay, I'm George Akongo. I'm the water administrator, East Kanyamka, uh, West South Kanyamkago, Ward Uriri Sub County. At the moment, we are advocating for the climate. We are planting trees to help us bring down this carbon that is affecting our atmosphere. We have been planting trees. Today we have planted a number of trees. We still have another one that we are yet to continue planting. We are planting trees. So we are urging everybody to join forces with us. We have a number of partners that are also with us. We are also urging others to have the spirit so that we bring down this carbon that is affecting our life. Otherwise, it has been good and we urge everybody to just keep the spirit of greening the environment. Thank you. I'm Tom Motino Swago. I'm representing Green Villages. I'm so happy to be here in Oyani to help my, our fellows to plant trees, to reduce the rate of carbon for carbon oxide in the ozone layer. This will also help us to increase the water catchment. Please, my fellows, let us encourage more youths so that we may achieve that more billions of trees in our country. That's okay, hi everyone, this is Pamela <coughs> from uh, Joint Hands Green Life Trees. And uh, it's a privilege today to join hands with uh, some of the partners in Uriri sub-county, because uh, it's a world cleanup day, and we are working towards sensitization 
of our people around in proper waste management and disposal. We are privileged to have planted trees here and uh, we are just, uh, uh, I mean, uh, requesting the community at large, the country at large, to take part in tree planting programs so that we can reduce and we can see on mitigate, I mean, work on mitigation of the climate change. Uh, joint hands, green life trees, we are working towards uh, greening of the environment. We are tree seedlings producers. Uh, we train farmers on proper or rather sustainable agroforestry practices. And uh, we are doing landscaping and uh, as well as uh, beautification. And uh, we always work towards, uh, I mean, joining hands. That's why, that's why we come up, with, we, that's where we got the word joining hands. So we always join hands with other stakeholders and the government organizations or NGOs just to beautify or rather to create a proper environment for us. We know that our environment is our responsibility, so we have to work hard to maintain it and to make it a better place for us. Um, my name is Alfred Olo. I'm the sub-county youth officer, Uriri sub-county, Uriri county. Work with the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports. It's called the uh, Ministry of Youth Affairs, the Arts and Sports. State Department of Youth Affairs, and the arts. Now, I'm glad today that uh, we are meeting the target that has been set by the President of Kenya of planting at least 300 trees per person in 10 years. The President wants us to plant 30 trees per year for the next 10 years. So each individual should be able to have planted 300 trees in 10 years. I'm happy that we are reducing the numbers and uh, today we have planted 250 and that 250 has gone a long way in trying to meet the target that uh, we have been given. Uh, here today we've been uh, with the youth and uh, I was happy that uh, the youth have taken the initiative to plant trees. I want to appreciate the partners who have been involved in the activities today. I appreciate the county government of Migori for participating and giving us grounds to plant the trees today. I appreciate Uriri Social Justice Center for organizing the event at least uh, they have made the activity happen they initiated and we have worked together today i also appreciate green villages i think uh, they are the providers of the seedlings yes you've done a great job uh, we have not paid a coin but uh, you have made sure that uh, today we have planted trees also appreciate the presence of uh, joint hands green light we have also graced our occasion and uh, we have used the technique or uh, the expertise that uh, you have shared with us and uh, we are grateful we hope that uh, with the nurturing the trees will grow the trees will do well and we'll be able to manage uh, the destruction of ozone layer. Uh, my name is Alex Amisi and uh, speaking on behalf of uh, Migori County Kenya Forest Club. Uh, today we have uh, uh, mobilized youths uh, to mark the World Cleanup Day and uh, we have joined different stakeholders and the government uh, through uh, the Ministry of Health. Uh, we have been able to uh, to plant a number of indigenous trees and uh, and, and fruit trees uh, pushing the directive of the president to uh, to reach a target of 15 billion trees so uh, we are working with the county to be able to uh, have the youths uh, be a part of uh, the Kenya Forest Club which is uh, the Green Army uh, to be able to take this initiative and uh, be part of the change in the community we are working towards greening Migori County Viva. As a youth leader and also an actor in the civil society space of uh, Uridi Sub County mm -hmm. and also uh, 
Migori County at large. I must commend uh, the young people who have come together today, uh, together with the leadership of uh, several environment, uh, environmentalists like uh, Alex Amisi and the Uriri Social Justice Center uh, community. So, and also the Oyani community for welcoming us to come into the community and actually uh, a program that we just started. And uh, we call upon the stakeholders, those people who uh, have the resources, and that is the county government of Migori and the national government to ensure that they do proper mapping of those warriors, environmental warriors, those people who are working in the community, so that they, they channel the resources available. So much, I'm called Mr. Gordon Osinda, representing the Kenya Poverty Elimination Network, also representing the Kenya Red Cross Migori branch and the Lola Community Alliance. I'm happy to be here first as a youth because one, we always say uh, youth have the energy and youth are the leaders of tomorrow. And uh, by the by the by the word of the president, uh, he instructed us to be planting the trees. And uh, by so doing, uh, we have to ensure that our climate change is a thing of the past. So I encourage everyone and all the youths around to join um, and uh, ensure that our environment is the priority. And the only way we can be of good environment is by ensuring that we always plant trees. And nowadays, it is not only planting a trees, it is also by ensuring that they all grow. Okay, my name is Leona Bikumu from Green Border uh, Tree Planting. So the Green Border uh, group is just to encourage the community to embrace green growth. So that is the meaning of the Green Border. So we actually appreciate the day, the World Cleanup Day, and we encourage people and especially the youth to keep on planting trees and they embrace planting more trees to safeguard their future. And indeed, this is also a message to our parents that uh, we did not inherit this world from our forefathers, but we borrowed it from our children. So they need to encourage each and every other parent to live this environment better than they found it. If not so, may you have a good day. It continue as it it has been going. Thank you. Collective responsibility as members of this nation to reclaim back the fertility of our soil. And there are very many things that we need to do for us to reclaim back our soil. Uh, in Liguri, we have done several soil testes, uh, testings freely by the government through the colorful laboratories, and we are trying to tell our farmers what to do in order to improve the soil. One, when we find there is a desertification, that is an uh, evident that our soils have been drowned away. Now, for us to get that soil back, let us use, impress the organic uh, matters that are coming from our trees. Let us uh, impress the organic growing of our crops. We eliminate more chemicals into our soils. Okay. As we carry up this exercise, we started by collecting all the plastics around the markets. Why were we doing this? Because these are some of the elements that have distracted our soils. So we need to have things that can decay and improve our soil. Thank you and thank you for this important exercise. So kindly if you come across this video, please consider liking, share and subscribe. And, and we say bye. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>